what was the disappointment? Any, anyone that expected different needs a big reality check. It's not in our DNA as a club. Yeah, unfortunately, mate, our season's over already. Yeah, I've been watching them for 65 years, and I was there the day they won last league title in 1962, and we had a very successful period. We won FA Cups, we won European Cups, and we won the league. Uh, but since then, it's a little bit up and down. Put it that way. A little bit, yeah. It would be nice to see them um, get something, yeah. The, the level of performance it's not consistent, which is a shame. I've supported Spurs for 40 years and we still haven't won the title. So we come to expect it. But now we've got the right manager in place. We need some investment and I'm sure we can do really well next year. Yeah. Now with regards to Sonny, uh, he's had a tough season. He, he looks knackered. Unfortunately for him though, there's no one else to come into the, that can do that job. You could try someone like Mora, no one near that level. Unfortunately with Sonny as well, he's either excellent or he's awful. So you can't just blame one man and you can't rely on one man either. A lot, a lot of people at this club, they do rely on Kane and Sonny. And if they don't perform, the, the results don't come. Uh, definitely not. I mean, Sonny's one of our heroes. He's an incredible player. I would always include Son, whether he's fit, not fit or whatever. No, no, no. I think uh, Sonny's probably one of our shining lights. More Absolutely up, not. We can't afford to list him. <laughs> There's only him and Kane doing anything. Yeah. Lucas is not good enough. Not good enough. We need investment in the squad. We need players. Sonny, we can't rest him. We can't afford to rest him. He has to play every game. Sonny, I think he's a world-class player. Does he need rest? He's just come back. I don't think he needs resting. Some games, uh, they're uh, aiming at him, so they're marking him very roughly. But, yeah, he's a world-class player. Conti is... A special manager, he's very passionate, uh, he takes defeat very badly and sometimes he loses it. He did apologise for his last outburst, um, but I'd rather have him in the long term than short term and I think he's a great manager. Uh, he's a very, very good manager, he's got lots of experience and perhaps he should find another way. Definitely no. not. But I, think, but, but I think he's sending a message. We know where he's coming from. Owner. I think he's basically saying, I need investment in the team or he's going to walk away. It just needs investment, we need money. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. He's, the only way that will keep him here is money, and that's, that's one thing we don't do here. They, they won't spend. I thought he might have left after the Burnley game when we lost 1 0, but uh, I think he'll stay till the end of the season, and then it depends whether the club back him financially as to whether he carries on. If Levy chairman of the board doesn't back him then I think he'll leave I think he will but think means I don't know it depends what money he's got if he doesn't get the money then he will leave definitely yeah. we'll probably end up losing Sonny and Kane to yeah, Newcastle absolutely definitely I don't think so I think he'll have another year but it all depends on the uh, Daniel Levy if he's going to give him support if he gives him support I think he'll stay this individual achievement Achievements, fantastic. What fair play to both of them. But as a Spurs supporter, my I, I come here to see trophies. I'm not I'm not too bothered by the individual ones. But for their sake, yeah, it's, when you're beating players like Drog by Lampard, it's credit to them. But again, like I was saying, you can't rely on two players because they've they've broken a record in what six or seven years playing together and they've won nothing. So it just goes to show how weak the rest of them are. No, I think it's a fantastic achievement, and they know each other so well. They They've played together for many, many years and they just instinctively know uh, what the, uh, where the other is, is going and the passes by both of them have been superb. It's been really great. Excellent. Brilliant. But uh, the rewards for the players themselves need to be just a little bit more than that. It's fantastic. But, but we haven't won nothing. It's all the two players that's worth keeping in the squad. Yeah, it's a fabulous team of both players, but trophies, that's what the players want. It's all comes down to investment. Have you got nobody in South Korea that can invest money in club? Can you not buy the club? <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll, they'll get some more, they'll get more. I feel sorry for him because he hasn't won anything, yet he's one of the best players in the world. It's, it's a tough one, because if you asked me two weeks ago, it was in our hands, and I'd have said to you, I fancy four. 
seeing the results on the road with them winning four and about doesn't doesn't help us at all and they're probably favourites. If we win tonight and close that gap and if we win at Old Trafford next week, close that gap even more, then then who knows? But we're still in it. It's gonna be a tough one though. If if they play, you see there's a term called Spursy where you never know which Spurs team is going to turn up. If they play like... I mean, they've beaten Manchester City twice this season and Manchester City have only lost three games all season. If they play with passion and desire, then I think they'll do very well. But the trouble with Spurs is if they play a lower team, I don't think they put the effort in. I think they take it for granted that they're going to win. If Sonny doesn't have a good game then it's a problem with the team. Well, I think you best ask that question to Mr Conti because I think he is the man, if anybody can, can draw it out of them and give us the performances that will, will achieve that. But it's not looking like it at the moment. Uh, not a chance. If Conti don't no, know, I don't know. I, I, I think, I think there's only top Arsenal, seven if we're lucky. There's only Arsenal to catch. And I think we'll beat them at home. And I think we could. It all depends on the next four or five matches. Uh, I think uh, we're in a good position to finish fourth. Obviously, we're not favourites anymore, but uh, if we can beat Arsenal, uh, you never know what's going to happen.